Uncontrolled brush fires continue to char thousands of acres of central Texas tonight. Hundreds of homes destroyed in one of the worst wildfire outbreaks in central Texas history. Now here is the latest as we know it. More than 25,000 acres have burned. More than 476 homes were destroyed in Bastrop County. A second fire broke out there this afternoon. A fire burning along the Perdinalis River between Spicewood and Dripping Springs grew today. 67 homes and structures were damaged or destroyed there. We have just gotten word that people evacuated in that fire scenario are being allowed to return to their homes tonight. That's some good news. Two dozen homes destroyed, 30 more damaged out in Steiner Ranch. And the newest fire tonight in Leander, almost a dozen homes damaged there. And we have crews stationed all four of those locations. We begin with the biggest complex of fires in Texas right now. That's happening in Bastrop County. And again, two fires burning right now. The newest called the Union Chapel Fire. That's burning west of Bastrop in the Wildwood area. The biggest burning in and around Bastrop State Park right now. More than 25,000 acres. Again, 476 homes destroyed. Governor Rick Perry left the campaign trail today to come to Bastrop. And Chris Sadegui is in Bastrop drop with the latest. Yes, and Governor Rick Perry made it very clear that he's never seen a fire disaster like this before. In the past few days, 32,000 acres have burned in the central Texas area, 25,000 of those right here in Bastrop. That was enough for him to stop on the campaign trail and come down here and take a look. It was a surreal experience today. That's what Perry said after taking a tour of the area where 476 homes have been damaged or destroyed. This video is from the Circle D neighborhood where a lot of the flames began. Pretty much unstoppable flames given the red flag fire conditions and high winds pushing it. Perry also visited the shelters where some of those people lost their homes and no doubt need help. The governor says they will get it. Assistance from Fort Hood is on the way to help battle this fire that they've had to fight primarily from the air. But a disaster declaration will also be requested to help the families. Perry says it could take some time. And until then, this community needs to lean on each other. We're going to do everything we can. The next 72 hours uh, are, are very important to those individuals. Uh, I think it's going to be Wednesday before FEMA gets here. And uh, so, you know, just <clears throat> find out what you can do to help your neighbor. And towards the very end of the press conference, Perry was asked about what harm this could have on his quest for the presidency making this trip back to Texas. He quickly brushed that question aside, much to the delight of this crowd, said he's not concerned with politics right now. He only cares about the people here in Texas. We're live in Bastrop, Chris Sadegui, KXAN News. Well, there are five shelters open right now for people who had to flee their homes ahead of the raging fires there in Bastrop County. About 400 people, we understand, are staying in them, just wondering what, what has happened to their...